What's good, Judy Destin? It's your boy. So, yeah, got a Judy Redeem. And we're back for some more Digimon Story Cyber 2. Yeah, you know, we picked up right where we left off. This is like, I stopped it, stopped the last episode, and I just started right back up. This is how we do. Oh, 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 you see him? Do you see him? Geo Greymon. <sighs> this is only the prelude to greatness right here. Only the prelude to greatness. Okay, so in the last episode I was asked to look for some um look for some something. What do I have to look for? Uh 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 it's, hold on, don't come to me. Oh yeah, we gotta uh help uh old boy in the police force. See, I said we picked right back up at the end of that last episode, but I completely forgot that quick. That's, that's how bad my memory is. Did she say Shaolin now? Level one? Level two! Mmm. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, he's such a damn beast. I love him. It, look at the spikes. It's like they're, they're bathed in dry blood of his enemies. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm fanboying out. Like, I love Agumon and Greymon and all that. But when I saw season five of Digimon, and I saw that Agumon Digivolve and the Geo Greymon, and then its future Digivolution, I never knew love such as that. Yay! 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 All right. I'm gonna put two more Digimon in Digibank. How many Digimon I got all together? I got four in the squad. Eight in the bank, so that's that. It's 12. I can count. Sometimes. Don't talk to me all buddy buddy. Oh, you got a question? What you know about the mysterious digital face? Him? I heard lots of rumors. Pre-reporting crime to the cops is pretty bold. Seems like they kind of know about the hackers, but I've never seen any hackers with their guts. Alright, you knew crap. Front attack. <gasps> oh, you hit both of them? T Will. He has a beam. He shoots out flame beams. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I love this dude. So you want to join my team? I'll definitely welcome a cutie like you and open up. Hey, hey, how about that? You trying to get up? Oh. <clears throat> Duty first. What do you know about the material digital face? I don't know anything about that. More importantly, hurry up and join Jackson. I promise I'll take good care of you. My number is 555. Five, five. My bad, my bad. That's old number. My number is... Hi. My number is 281 Yeah! Got Juicy Redeem up on the low. Looking for someone? Did I finally get found? Why <laughs> well, hide it? I am the great mysterious digital face. 
Here's what I would say. I'm not stupid. I don't even know to do. Uh, boy, you see this fucking dragon behind me? I apologize for saying cuss words, but you know, slipped out. Don't unsubscribe. Boring. I'm so overeating lately. Can you just tell me anything interesting? Do you know about the mysterious digital face? I heard some rumors, but I don't know much about it. Some of the interesting actions, I don't know. Make sure to tell you. Y'all fool don't know crap. Well, I know who my new red button is. Well, I said him and Midnight were both my red buttons. Don't worry, Candace. You ain't left out in the dirt. What? What you got something to say? Mysterious digital face. I found him. Yeah, of course I know. Yeah, the mysterious digital face is a hot topic around here at the moment. The cops were asking me the same question earlier. Wait, are you asking around about him? Well, I'm not saying nothing to no cop. Cop and hackers are enemies, you know. The incident must be particularly embarrassing for the police, the criminal, Admitted to the crime before committing it. I know a hacker who hates the cops more than anyone. Maybe that guy has a mysterious digital face. Where is he? Hmm? You don't know where your hacker is. He hangs out in Shinjuku a lot. He's a fiery, moody, shady kind of guy. Cop or not, you're gonna want to question him. You got the police hating hacker. The cop hating hacker is in Shinjuku? I just got the info of the tip off on it. It brought me here to Sujuku too. One way or another, it looks like a criminal is in Sujuku. Go find him ASAP. Oh. You're from Kyoko's office, right? Uh, yeah. What's with that old crap look on your face? <clears throat> Hold up, I gotta get me good. What's with that old crap look on your face? What are you doing here? Uh, you know, just... Hmm? You wanna know what I'm doing? I'm on the trail of mysterious digital fake. I'll come to eat and ask about around. Ask around about him. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. You say you think the hacker who hates cops is in Shinjuku? A hacker who hates cops, you say? But how do you know that? Uh, intuition. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for the info. So Kyoko is getting you to do something. I want to know what it is. It's a matter of police pride. It's mine to take care of. Hmm. I wonder if his dad's name was Vegeta. Anyway, let's look for the hacker who hates cops in Shinjuku. I was hoping they'd take me straight there. I had to. Well, I only got one, one more of these things left, so I might as well use it. I wish I can buy these junks. I should look into that. Welcome. Nope, oh, you can't buy it here. Have to go somewhere else. I'm hungry. Anybody want to feed me? Like, not like real life hunger. Anybody like want to go buy me something to eat real quick? Help, help the boy out, you know. I can't keep making this A1 content for you on an empty stomach, you know what I'm saying? Welcome. Hey. 350 yen. Can I get 10? That is nine. Sweet. Pro shaded girl. Looks like we arrived in Shinjuku. What's this wee stuff? Hmm? You met Matiyoshi. Why are you asking around in Kowloon? I see. You're talking about the information on in Shinjuku. Detective Matayoshi saw the case by himself with the information. That'll be great. Just to be sure, please continue your own investigation in Shinjuku. 
What up? Who hit me up? I can't really complain about this life, but a bit of freedom would be nice. I, I got you, man. I got you. You like a police hating cop? A police hating episode. What's the matter? You got something to ask me? Police hating hacker? <laughs> hacker to the fire of the police? Far too many personages come to mind, I'm afraid. Really now, do hackers and police seem friendly to each other? Of course, there are those who get. Oh, well. Yeah. I do wish I had that look. <laughs> okay. Could it be? Hey, how you doing? Somebody can help me with it? You know anything about the police hating hackers? A hacker who hates cops? I saw this guy. He didn't look like a hacker. He really hated cops. He was whispering something hateful about cops by an access point to the station courtyard. I don't really think he hates the cops. I mean, come on. We are so cool. <laughs> Someday I'm definitely gonna. <clears throat> you okay, bro? I made shifty for a cop. Maybe me saying police hating police, cop hating police wasn't that far off. What is it? You got something you want to ask? I do. Are you the digital face? What? Who the hell are you? You think you're so important? You asking around? You're a cop, right? No. You just hide behind the power of the state that gives you tyranny, cruelty. This is a violation of my human rights. Ah! Looks like he's run. Looks like he's run from the access point to eat it. Let's go after him. Come back here, bruh. Yeah, uh, Maxwell Digimon in the bank. Okay. I hate the police. I hate them. I hate them. Questioning. Bike registration number. I don't have time for that. I need to get home. My favorite anime show is about to start. Am I really that suspicious looking? Am I really that shady? The police are the enemy. The police are the enemy. What the? You. You're the cop's crony, so you're the little lap dog. Oh! <laughs> hey, this is Pokemon. You being a grass type, and me having a very powerful fire type. Well, ooh, you survive. Other people can get some shine. Midnight! Midnight! Shower! Meteor shower, but you know what I'm saying. Candace, spiral twister, if you will. Oh, Bean Bakuman. Alright, give him to you, Will. The games. The games. Oh, uh, where am I? You went through some crazy itch, my guy. I was possessed by a Digimon? I see, I can't remember. Hmm? Mysterious digital face. He stole the secret police data. What are you talking about? 
Fuck that. I'm not even a hacker. I mean, I admit, I hate the cops, but... I was born with a strange, suspicious vibe, so everyone always mistrusts me and treats me like I'm their enemy. Anyway, I don't know anything about the mysterious digital face. You hear that? You catch criminals? Okay, just bring the criminal straight to the station and don't let Detective Mediocre see you. Hmm? He wasn't a criminal? Just shady? I see, that's a pity. There's nothing to be done about it. We need to do an investigation again. Please come back here. He was shady, alright. But he was no penguin. Hey, you! What are you doing here? <laughs> Surprise, huh? Hmm, you wanna know who this is? This is the infamous mysterious digital face. I just arrested him. What the? <laughs> How do I know? This guy isn't a real policeman. He's just a normal guy in a costume. Just what I expect. Just what you'd expect from Detective Mideoshi. You truly earned the title of Shinjuku Matakagi. Matagi. Right from the start, I never thought the colonel who did this hated the police. Shinjuku Matagi was a nickname over 10 years ago. Person who knew this must have really liked the police. No, he just had to be a complete fanatic. When I was going around at Shinjuku asking about this, I ran him and came me instinctively. When I looked into to him, I found he wasn't even a real cop. He's a hack who aspired to be a member of the crime squad of the police, but kept failing their interview exam. He broke under the pressure and admitted when I was cross examining him. Wow. Police. Japanese police are truly excellent to be able to find me so easily. <laughs> oh! So now I know I'm spending all day and every day with these policemen. Well, I guess that's not so bad. <laughs> well, I feel like catching this guy's own reward, but, well, I suppose that's enough. I suppose I just thank you for your help. What did I do? I was only able to catch him because you gave me important clues. You helped me save face. I thank you for that. Please pass my regards on Kyoko and tell her I'm sorry for her. That man truly is a bad A police detective. Right, so the mysterious digital face was safely brought to justice. You managed to preserve the honor of the police force and Detective Matayoshi. Good job. I suppose we should reconsider our low opinion on Detective Matayoshi now. We tried to support him covertly at first, but we weren't able to find him a criminal by ourselves. He's an elite detective. That good instinct of his that is one of the greatest gifts you can have. Still, the Shinjuku Matagi. Matagi means a bear hunter, a person who can use the footprints and smell of a bear and track it down, moving for the kill. Of course, that is the perfect nickname for Detective Mediyoshi. Bow. Dick. I think the real multi-faced criminal was sort of a fan of the police and P.I.s. He's probably the first ever hot, cold personality type. Why in the world is it so cold inside Broadway? There's something wrong with the AC. If we're not doing anything, I know what's going on. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. I remember you saying something about it. Let's look around. Oh, it's freezing in here. Is the AC brick or something? What the crap is this? What the fuck was that? Hmm? My voice got out. I wonder what's up. Me again. I got a new case for you. Why don't we drop by on, on by so we can talk? Creepy Jeepers, creepers Where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers Time Castle Snow Woman There's something wrong with the air conditioning Broadway Final Cause Farm Expansion Club <laughs> From what I get, the air conditioning inside Nakano Broadway is on the fritz. 
it just keeps pumping in cold air constantly. Nobody can switch the heating on. Thing is, nobody can find anything wrong with it, and businesses are lost by what to do. That's where we come in. People aren't getting much work done, so I told them to leave it to us. If we can get to the bottom of this mess, I'm sure they'll love us forever for it. So, what the? Hmm? You keep getting transformation from someone. Hmm. Well, isn't she a cutie? The white noise in this is really bad. I can't make out what she's saying. Where is this coming? Damn, cut out. What? You're saying the same transmission came in when it was cold? Hmm, it might be getting closer in on the car. If so, our next step is to resolve this thing, plain and simple. I'm going to see if I can figure out the signal of the origin. You ask around about the air conditioning. On it. I don't know, and you don't know, that we don't know together. Oh, I want to take the mine and go down. Where the F am I supposed to be going? You too, bro. Ooh, good skin. Yeah, right. Where the heck am I supposed to be going? AC broke? It's me, I have no idea. It's odd, we don't have a central unit anymore, so how did, did everyone's AC go out? Hmm? You don't know about the central unit? Well, when this place first opened, there was a big underground unit that controlled the AC from the whole building. Sure feels like the old cent sure feels like the old central unit going out. The way it worked was every store accumulated that rolled air up to the store for fans. All the central 
unit on the ground at all? Well, that's what the refrigerator is certain something. Haha, <laughs> what do you think it was? It was the Japan's oldest vacuum tube computer. Can you believe it? The room that can, the room that computer was housed in was right here in the car. I don't know. That's sad. I had no idea what happened to it. There's nothing left of it anymore. And even if there was, there's no records left. Nobody remembers where it was either. The room itself might be an urban, might as well be an urban legend. Hmm. I can tell you one thing though. It's really cold. Although it does wonderful, wonderful coffee cell today. I figured out where the thing was coming from. So get back to the office when you can, all right? Oh, sweet. Nice work with your investigation. Now, what do you got to report? Well, it is blah, 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 Hmm, this is the first I've ever heard of the computer room. But with that info, it's all starting to click for me now. Like I mentioned before, I figured out what the girl in the transmission is. Her name is Fiomi Yuki. Fiume Yuki. She was a breakout idol from a few decades back. What we've been seeing, the avatar on the screen, is her when she was in her prime as an idol. Somebody is therefore using a terminal inside Nakano Broadway and broadcasting her likeness. And it seems, and the signal seems to be coming from the fourth floor. Looking at the map, it's right inside a wall at Kate's Cafe. Oh, just there. This whole thing has played out like a horror for heaven. A long lost idol relying her message from inside a wall. But with your report, it's all coming together now. You've been coming to a place in Nakano Broadway history that not even the owner of Kate's Cafe as the go to historian can claim to know. But enough talk. It's time to head back to the K Cafe. I'll be coming along with you this time. I got a message from a girl. And when I answered it, it got cold all of a sudden. It's the snow woman. She's cursed us all. It has to be her. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. But I definitely have been feeling really chilly in here. I got a bad feeling about this. But let's just go home. <laughs> the snow woman. The ammo sure does fit with the folktale though. Even the idol's name. Fuyuma Fuyuma Yuki means winter snow woman. Snow woman herself shows up in a lot of stories with regions with cold climate. Definitely the first time she's taken form as an old eighties idol. But it's pretty fitting for the common Broadway I don't think it's it. <laughs> you are taking too much fun in this. Still, if we don't act quickly, she's gonna damage this place reputation, so let's get a move on already. Ooh, this is where I gotta go. And you know what I gotta do. In the episode now, so leave you on the cliffhanger so, so you can come back next time and see me solve this case. Because I am the yeah guy yeah, who's redeeming, that's what I do. So please, hit the like button if you like the video. Hit the share button if you wanna show your other friends. Hit the subscribe button if you just wanna enjoy what I do. So I'll see y'all later. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Peace.